Hello, everybody. Howdy. Thank you all so much for your emails and messages and phone calls worrying about us. We are doing great. We just needed to take a few weeks um, to do some personal things, kind of like a sabbatical, but we are rested up now and ready to get in the fight. Speak for yourself. What? I'm not rested up yet. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> have sent so much research, <laughs> I am beside myself. It's like, how do I process all this? But thank you guys so much for the research. I've got some things coming up based on your research, some other things. It's amazing the research you guys have been sending. Thank you so much. And we're trying to get through all of it. They're way ahead of us, aren't they? <laughs> they are. I mean, they are. I mean, holy cow. I mean, it's just... We'll, we'll explain all of this in all due time. No. There's other things that Kim and I have been involved with that we're not at liberty to say right now. But, but it'll good. all become clear in the end. But I do want to give my condolences to Gilbert Gonzalez. This is actually a cause and effect Gilbert, while you were so lovingly asking for all of our votes, which we did vote for you to become, you know, the eighth governing body member, <laughs> it looks like you just got outvoted. I believe this is cause and effect because Gilbert sent out many of these things. Kim and I sent out many of these things. Everybody said Everybody a lot. did this. And I'm sure that in the mind of those current Jehovah's Witnesses that receive one of these things, I'm sure it caused a lot of confusion. Like, oh, when did we get a new 8th governing body member, Gilbert Gonzalez? And, and these guys are going to online to find out whether they're, and they're probably getting deprogrammed right now. <laughs> And asking the elders and calling up the society, yes. wanting to know who the new governing body member is. So, so as we already know, the Washington Bible Tract Society has now got another eighth clown sitting um, in their little office, their little round table with the other seven clowns. Sorry about your luck, eighth clown, but, you know, eventually... I'm going to get around to you. I just have a whole lot on my plate right now, but I will get to you, you little clown. Well, I have to ask if this is anything to do with the article in the November 2013 Watchtower Study article on page 20. You know, that article, you know, of obey whether it sounds logical from a human standpoint oh, yeah, or not. I remember that. They were talking about the seven shepherds and eight dukes. And these eight dukes, they were all awaiting the attack of the Assyrians, you know, and they were applying it to themselves in our present day. Oh, you mean like... So did they have to do an eighth governing body member to go along with the eight dukes? Oh, so they are appearing that they are self-fulfilling Bible prophecies. Yes, yeah, what you got to ask. They're, they're fulfilling these Bible prophecies among themselves. Oh, well, no wonder they're eight idiots now. God, well, again... My condolences to Gilbert Gonzalez. Poor Gilbert. Sorry <laughs> poor about Gilbert. Your, the loss of your yeah, position. Poor Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry you lost the campaign. Okay, now we've got something really important here. And I want to thank an anonymous source that goes by the name Victorious. Thank you so much. Thank you. This was an incredible fine. And, yeah, I know some of you are going to say, oh, well, this is old. It was from 1948. It doesn't matter anymore. Yes, it does. Because when you start putting all the pieces together and thinking about all of what has happened and transpired, you know, you got to ask Watchtower, what the heck is going on? Now, I'm going to put the links down below to the CIA Reading Document Library and this little form we've got. So thank you, Victorious, and wow. Yes, because it appears that this CIA document was uh, completely declassified, 
November 9th, 2016, if I'm understanding this correctly. Document creation date, November 9th, 2016. And what it actually is, is it's a document showing that the Jehovah's Witnesses in Greece, that there were connections between them and the KKE, which is the Greek, uh, co it has something to do with the Greek Communist Party. So I'm going to read this document because Mikey broke his glasses and so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, I didn't break them. I lost one of the lenses. But thank goodness the lens I lost was for my good eye, not my bad eye. <laughs> so I can still legally drive, but it looks kind of queer with a pair of glasses missing a lens. <laughs> Wow. That's the humiliation I have to suffer until I get my new pair of glasses. <laughs> so I want to read the scripture from the New World Translation first before we get started. Poor Mikey, can't see. Psalms 26, 4 through 5. I have not sat with men of untruth, and with those who hide what they are, I do not come in. I have hated the congregation of evildoers, and with the wicked ones, I do not sit. Jehovah's Witnesses, do you really feel that way? Listen. As you can see, the CIA has redacted a whole block up here at the top. We have no idea what is underneath this, but like I said, I've got the scan of this document, I've got the link to the website, and when you go down about halfway on this page of the website, you will see there's a little PDF symbol, and if you click on that, you can actually get this PDF. And now keep in mind, this investigation did start in 1948, correct? December yeah, 22nd. December 20, yeah, December 22nd, 1948. So when you look into this, you're given the appearance that this is an old documentation and the CIA gave up on it. But keep in mind, it was made public November 9th, 2016. So it's, it's really some declassified information. But in 1968, look at how the CIA was looking at the Watchtown Bible Tract Society. Exactly. So I'm just going to read this. Central Intelligence Agency report, and the number's been redacted. Information report confidential. Country, Greece. Date distributed, December 22nd, 1948. Number of pages, one. Subject, KKE and Jehovah's Witnesses. Place acquired, they have redacted, and then above it, it's 25X1A6A. Okay, now you have the redacted block, and then down below I'm going to read what that says. Pursuant to orders of the party, officials and members of KKE have joined the religious sect of the Millennials or Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> Number two, this is interesting because this sect forbid its followers to use deadly weapons, and consequently the members of KKE will find an area of activity in spreading defeatist propaganda. Do you guys understand? They're using Jehovah's Witnesses inside Jehovah's Witnesses to spread defeatist propaganda. And propaganda for avoiding compulsory military service in the struggle against the guerrillas. This sect is gaining ground not only in the Athens Piraeus area, but also in some of the provinces, e.g. in Crete. This religious group is known under the name of Russellites after the name of the founder, an American named Charles Russell, or millennium, Millennialness, or Jehovah's Witnesses. They prefer the last name. Concealed under this religious cloak, the members of KKE are meeting for party work. And that's what really struck me about this declassified document is point number five. Concealed under this religious cloak. <clears throat> How many of us have done research pertaining to the Watchtown Bible Tract Society and how many other things have we uncovered that they've been hiding as a religion? Oh, all you got to do is just look at their financial record and, and all of these stocks and bonds and you'll see they have, you know, uh, holdings in Lockheed Martin. Rand Cam. Rand Cam. Um... Lucky Strike, I think, oh, you know, to, uh, Marlboro? To Marlboro Tobacco Company. They're, the CIA knows <laughs> well who Jehovah's Witnesses are. They know. They were exposed in 1948. 
I'm sure they're still under investigation. And I'm sure they're still under investigation. So when the Washington Bible Tract Society tells you Jehovah's Witness is sitting in there, oh, oh, the governments are going to turn on us, but you look to Jehovah for salvation. They're not turning on you people because you're a religious sect. They're turning on you because you are hiding as communists as a religious Christian group. So pull your heads out of the asses of those eight governing idiots and get a reality check. The reality check is that the governments are going to come after you because you're a subversive group Extremist. of nincompoop. And the, Extremists. Yeah. So pull your heads out of your asses, Jehovah's Witnesses. This game is over, whether you like it or not. Oh, we've missed Mikey and his rants. Well, I got to ask. Okay, we know that the Jehovah's Witnesses in Greece have been banned for many years. Is this why? I got to ask, Watchtower, is this why? It's not because of your religious beliefs. Is it because your affiliation and have communist, Greece Communist Party members in your organization? You know, I don't remember my history too well, and I'm probably wrong with this next statement. But isn't, wasn't Loesch bragging about his father being in the German army? What, wasn't that German army still communist? Um, and I'm probably wrong because I didn't research this before, but I'm wondering, and I don't remember quite well, if Greece was an ally to Germany during World War II. I know the, the Italians were. Oh, wait a minute. Doesn't this say E, E, G, O, in Crete? That's Italy, Greece. Greece. That's Greece. Yeah, whatever. It, 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 it doesn't freaking matter. <laughs> it just doesn't freaking matter. You were under investigation by the CIA for hiding communist and baptizing them as Jehovah's Christian witnesses. Well, this is interesting, too, because of their area of activity in spreading defeatist propaganda. That means disarming them. They won't fight. You know, they won't, they won't do anything in the military. Yeah. So basically, as human citizens of the world, you can't depend on Jehovah's Witnesses for a thing. They won't even stand up and defend their own country. Well, defeat is propaganda. But where Jehovah's Witnesses do defeat all of us is right up here. This is why this religion is so destructive. Because they defeat us here. That's what makes the governments cautious of Jehovah's Witnesses. Well, also too, well, they're investigating them now in Norway. You know, yeah, they're they, getting they ready had to be call banned for the child abuse in multiple countries. Why is is it because CIA documents are now getting leaked and all other countries are having a second look at who and what Jehovah's Witnesses are hiding under the cloak of religion? Well, you know, you made a good point about the defeatist propaganda. Look at what they've done to all of us who leave. So many think. Oh, what if they're right? I'm going to die at Armageddon anyway, so I might as well, you know, eat, drink, and be merry and do whatever I want because I'm going to die at Armageddon anyway. So that is a defeatist propaganda. Yeah. Committing and, suicide, you know, making you feel you're not worth it and making your life so miserable, losing all your friends and family. That's defeatist propaganda, and Watchtower is really good at that. Watchtower has become masters at that defeatist propaganda. I'm going to throw something out here that has to go in what I've been working on, but I'm not going to give anything away other than this. As Jehovah's Witnesses, if anybody was to ask you, according to the book of Revelation, who is Babylon the Great? And without thinking, you just spout out, oh, it's a world empire, false religion. <clears throat> Stop. That's what we were taught. Stop and ponder that for a minute. That word false leaves the impression that even if you leave Watchtower, there's still another true religion out there. There's still another true religion. But when you leave Watchtower, you have to deprogram yourself from those misleading, misdirecting words like, oh, Babylon the Great is the world empire of false religion. But if you was to ask me today, Mikey, in the book of Revelation, who is Babylon the Great? It's the world empire of religion. 
encompasses everybody, doesn't it? But see, we were programmed by the Watchtown Bible Tract Society to spout that phrase off without giving any thought that we were still suffering from watchtower indoctrination when we leave. Because we go out here and we join this little religion thinking we can still find the truth. Um, and embrace this, this doctrine thinking we can still find the truth. But are we still suffering from those residual effects of watchtower by thinking, well, hey, Jehovah's Witnesses, who are Babylon the Great? Oh, it's the world empire of false religion. Well, think about it. We're all taught in the Gospels, in the New, uh, New Testament, that it's all about grace. It's a gift. It is not about knowledge and works. No, it's not because it's that's grace. Because that's exactly how Watchtower indoctrinated all of us, right from the very beginning. You know, hello, would you like to accept free home Bibles? Well, certainly, I would love to have a free home Bible study. And then all of a sudden, you, 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 you're starting to get indoctrinated with this free home Bible study. And then all of a sudden, you're being told, well, you know, <clears throat> you, you, you have to go from door to door preaching. Because, you know, a after all, if you, if you don't preach, uh, God's going to ask that person's life back at your hands. Oh my God, I better get out and become a door knocker now because, you know, my salvation is based on knocking on doors and all this acquired knowledge. A and yet, when we wake up from Watchtower, what do some of us find ourselves doing? Looking for that acquired knowledge that's going to save and you throw grace right out the window. I just have one thing to say about all that. Um, a certain Christian crusader has been trying to call us out on debates. Maybe a couple of others, you know, have been trying to call us out on debates. Wait, no. And publicly... Um, Try to humiliate us? Yeah, and call us out to debate with these people. All I have to say is 1 Timothy 2.8. So There's why... There's more important things than debates. Yeah. So why are you going against the scriptures that you adhere to that tell you don't debate, and yet you're challenging with the debates? I, I don't understand I don't, the, I don't understand the logic. I, I I can't I can't comprehend that type of logic from these people from people in, still involved with Christendom. I want to debate. I got to prove you wrong. Yeah, but the Bible says don't do it. That's why we're not answering any of these challenges. Oh, there's also 1 Timothy 6, 4. And I like the New World Translation because that's the one where they use the word <laughs> mentally, mentally diseased. diseased. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? It doesn't matter all your names that you're calling us and, you know, all these videos you're doing against us. It doesn't matter. You know what? You're not hurting us. No, you're hurting yourself. Sticks and stones, names will never hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. I'm glad. That, I'm glad. I mean, this... I don't have time for this. <laughs> no, no. We have more important things that we're working on right now. But we appreciate all of you wonderful viewers, all the wonderful research you have been you sending us, just... and books, and videos, my goodness. And we are trying to get through all of it, and we really appreciate it. And my goodness, you guys are ahead of us already. Oh, it's and like, it's holy incredible. cow. But, incredible. Yes, but what's also interesting is I've got a couple of other things that I've been working on that I don't think anybody has even connected the dots yet because I haven't seen anything come in on our computer yet with these with this particular subject so but yes. that's going to be for another date <laughs> yes so without monologuing on yes i will put the scan the link to the scan and the cia reading library and all of that down below you guys have fun spread this everywhere because they've kept this secret since 1948 and this needs to be exposed, and we just have to ask the questions. What is up, Watchtower? Yeah, what's up? Exactly. And uh, we've got to try to get a nail and coffin done. You know, I've got a lot of emails yeah. to go through. Well, so. last night I was kind of going through some of this stuff, and this is when this was, we actually came across this email regarding the CIA information and last night when I went online when I went on our computer 483 emails <laughs> oh my goodness come on guys slow it down a little bit please have have mercy on us <laughs> it's fine it's fine no, I it will eventually it's just gonna get take a lot, a lot more time and we appreciate your patience um but 
hopefully we'll get a nail and coffin done this weekend because I know you're all patiently waiting and it's a new coffin lid and we apologize for taking so many months to get this done. Yeah. But there's just so much we're dealing with right now and a lot going on. So we hope you have a <laughs> wonderful weekend and you know Mike and I love you guys yes, and thank you. You know, for subscribing and watching our videos, and welcome to all our new subscribers. Yes, welcome to our brand of insanity. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. At least we're happy and insane people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.